Okay, Bella Buddies, I did not know if these were going to be long tail or if they were going to sell fast. I know that they are unique, hard to find, which we're going to talk about in this video. But the cool thing is I created a sale, a coupon sale, not just a sale in my eBay store. And I created a whole video that looks like this that shows you how to create coupons. Oh my goodness, increase your sales with coupons. This item sold I, within, I would say less than an hour of me creating this buy one, get one 25% off sale. Incredible. So go check out that video if you want to learn how to create a sale. And let's talk about these items that I found. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Welcome to another I should be listing, but instead I'm bringing you a bolo that I didn't know about that I found at a garage sale. Okay, bolo buddies, I am going to make hundreds of dollars off of this $15 garage sale purchase that I didn't know about. I simply looked it up and I'm going to show you how I'm going to list these items because they are each a little bit unique. And I don't want to do multi quantity for that reason. So I'm going to give you a little shipping techniques and inventory and titles and all of that good stuff as well as how I'm going to search comps and figure out what these things are worth because eBay is not giving me much. All right, you guys, when I tell you incredible, I mean incredible. I got all of this for $15. So most of them are what I have researched to be the dog wood flower pattern so um these are light covers these are oh what are they called outlets outlet covers so i didn't even really catch that i had outlet covers also um the problem that i'm running into is see how these the patina on this is darker so i'm gonna have to list them if i list them individually as separate listings and when you do that you need to tweak your title otherwise it's going to show up as a duplicate listing so to me, it is not a duplicate listing because the they look different. The wear, the um, they're they're handmade, so they're all uniquely their own. I mean, they may be the same similar pattern, but the placement might be a little bit different. This one needs cleaned up some. These are um, bronze, solid bronze. You can see right there, handmade. And these are, I think they're aluminum. See that little, I don't know. See the little mark, the maker's mark there, handmade. I wonder if, see, they're all different. I wonder if that tells you who made, um, who stamped it or uh, hammered it. See, that one's a heart. How cool is that? Oh, I love that they're all stamped differently. So each maker, now that one's the same. Each maker had a different, probably, stamp. That's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong. That one's got like a little arrow. And you guys, I'm just showing you what I got here. And we are going to go in and I'm going to show you how I researched this. It was not easy. Um, these are super hard to find. And um, so this one is a two. It's got two switch plates or covers for two lights. This one's three. Obviously, I'm guessing the ones with that are bigger are going to go for more. And I do have one pine cone. So these are just incredible. Um, over here, I'm going to link up these the best I can. I don't know that if I have all of them, but they were included. This will probably just go into uh, the donate pile or like, I don't know. This is just nothing, I don't think. Um, <laughs> it's just there. This one I'll probably list. I don't know what that says. Something house. It is vintage. Um porcelain ceramic not sure so i'll probably list that one and just throw these in the donate pile but i'm going to show you how i checked for comps on these and teach you how to do it when you can't find something on ebay all right let's get started before we research i want to show you photo room i am creating a white background for my listings i can do so many at a time it is incredible and so fast I hit eBay and it formats it into the square properly for eBay photos. Use the referral link down below and get 10% off your first year. 
a photo room. Anyway, I've got a whole bunch. I got to figure out how to list these. And I'm like, I need to research it. You guys, not that easy to research. Um, definitely worth point came in handy. So let me show you here. First, I went to eBay and I typed in Wendell August switch plate, active listings, zero, nothing, nothing came up. So no active. So this is a hard to find item. Solds in the last 90 days, one, and it is a Noah's Ark, which is completely adorable and looks to be brand new. So what I'm seeing here is this sold for $18.50, but that doesn't tell me the value of mine because they are a different print. So I did go to Terapeak and I did the last, um, the last year. So 365 days. So there are some here. Um, this one sold for 45. Of course, you know, the ones that have multiple switch slots are probably going to go for more. But um, this one is a pine cone. We've got floral. But I'm just showing you the prices. This one here is a lighthouse. It went for $67.99. I think this person could have gotten more than $18.50 for their item. But that is just me personally. So we've got a few comparables here to look at. But I have a bunch. And I don't know... Should I lot them? Should I sell them individually? So I'm going to go over to um, Worth Point. And I've already got this pulled up. I am searching high to low. There are still only 60 results. So these are not a um, an item that is easy to find. They sold this for $149.95 in 2020. There are a bunch here. That, they gave it away. <laughs> they gave it away. Right here is, um, I think, the one we saw on uh, Terra Peak there. Here's a bronze, and it looks like it's got, what are these called? I don't know. Oh, is it wheat? <laughs> I don't know if it's wheat or what. But anyhow, I have a lot. $39.99 for this one. Uh, how do I want to do this? Do I want to sell them individually? I feel like I do. $27. This one is called Apple Blossom. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm trying to figure out which print I have. Um, let's see. It looks like the bronze ones are going for more. I don't see my print yet. Is that it? Dogwood. I think I have dogwood. So I have dogwood and I think I have a pine cone, but mostly dogwood. So one switch cover, $22 here. So let's zoom into these and kind of see. Um, some of the others that are active. Oh, look at that one. That one's different. And 2017, that's one that I have $15. I really feel like the best way to sell these is individually, but, um, golly, it would be so much easier to create one listing. I feel like these were sold too cheap. Probably people did not have worth point. They didn't have any comparables. So they just priced them low which I will not do. I will not uh, bring the market down. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I am going to definitely uh, list these items high because there's none listed and they are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I have created my first listing and you see in my title, it says A1 and that is going to match what I just showed you. All right, now I am going to hit create similar listing. And I'm gonna go down, whoops, I didn't delete the photos. Okay, this, I, I okay, delete all photos. This is the new listing tool, so I'm still getting used to it. So I have deleted all my photos. I am gonna make the adjustment to, I'm gonna call this one, I called it B2 for some reason. I guess that's what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna give each one a letter and a number basically, and then Here's the second one, and I just put B2 on it. It's ready to go. So I'm changing that. I'm going to change it there, and I'm going to go down. Oh, I need to take that out of there. Um, sometimes eBay will add things, so you do need to check the item specifics. Uh, so I'm going to change this to B2, and then I want to read to you guys what I did here. I put uh, pre-owned, please see photos for condition and measurements. 
These are handmade. I have a bunch listed in my eBay store. The letter number combo at the end is for inventory purposes. You will get the item in photo. Please use Zoom to see conditions in measurements sold as is as seen. So I want them to know that this is an inventory number and has nothing to do with the item other than it's how I know which item I am going to ship to them. So that is what I'm doing for this listing because I'm not doing multi-quantity. These items are handmade. They are all uniquely different as far as condition, wear, who made them, the, the mark on the back. There's too many variables. You cannot do multi-quantity for something like this, in my opinion. So that is how I am doing my listing. And I think I have four or five of these. So I will just change that number on the end, which will um, make it a new listing that is not identical to another listing. And I am doing separate photos for each one. So the person buying this is getting exactly what is in the photo. Okay, so I am in sold listings and I put in Wendell August and highest first, just because I wanna see um, this brand in general, does it have resale value other than these light switches and light covers that I have? Um, so we've got this one right here. I don't, it's a trophy. We have a tray and I'm just scrolling through showing you what I see here. It looks like this one probably didn't sell and was relisted. This says 1930. So some of this stuff can be pretty old. Um, mine are marked easily able to identify them. Are they all marked? I have no idea, but these are definitely an item and a brand to be on the lookout for. Handmade, hammered aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. So I'm guessing maybe my silver ones are aluminum. I can't say that word very well. I apologize. I'm going to go in and see if it has that same mark on it that mine has. Hopefully they have a close up. Uh, no, that one's a different, different mark. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, oh, wow, look at these. These are uh, Christmas ornaments. Those are incredible. So just really fantastic items. These are trivets and these are dogwood. So these match my um, light plates, switch cover plates. So yeah, definitely, um, definitely something to be on the lookout for. I mean, we're still in the $30, $40 range as I'm scrolling down here and just a really uh, neat bolo that I didn't know about that I found out about when I sourced it. So, Ooh, wow. I cannot believe this did not go for more. It's a Halloween serving tray. It's incredible. Wow. I would have started that auction way higher, way, way, way higher. But I always start things high, especially Halloween. Oh, my goodness. I feel like they lost out big time on that one. Now, if they had best offer on it, somebody could have made them an offer. And we would not know. Let's do this. Let's check. Because I know when I put best offer on my items, if somebody makes me an offer and I accept it, it does not show. Um, let's go over to Terapeak. And... Wendell August. I'm just going to put Halloween. And I think Terra Peak will tell you if, um, yeah, look at that, you guys. Horrible prices. $29.99 and $10. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I would have priced that thing so high. <laughs> Let me see if there's any actives. There's one listed for $19.99. And again, I just, I just think for coolness. Okay. Let's look over here. Um, I guess I'll just put in Wendell August Halloween. So I'm over on worth point. Um, okay. So look here, guys, here's a tray 49 99, 30, 30, 26 and 15. This tells me that this can go for more. Um, $50 at least minimum. I'd probably price that at a hundred or more if it were me and I would wait on the right buyer, but that's just me. Um, I think it's incredible. It's hand. Um, I think they're like, uh, what's that called? Hammered. I don't know, but an incredible item. So let me know how high would you have priced that awesome Halloween tray? Um, let me know in the comments.
All right, Bola Buddy, so I created the buy one, get one 25% off code right here. And these two items, which I just listed yesterday, sold already. How exciting is that? I sold them for $62 um, plus shipping. And they did get the discounted shipping, which was two items added to cart that are first class. You get $5 discount. So it looks like you can um, stack the two coupons, which is completely fine. So all in, they paid $62.65 for these two items right here. And now I'm gonna show you what I have currently listed and what prices I have those listed at. Okay, so I just searched just my active listings for Wendell August, and you can see my little coupon right here, buy one, get one 25% off with coupon is showing up. So everybody that looks at this is gonna see that. If you wanna learn how to create that coupon, I will link it down in the description. So we've got window August. I am running a 38% off sale now. I do have best offer option on, and then I do have this discount code. Also, anybody that follows my channel and wants to use code BOLO Buddies at checkout, that will get you 20% off your order. So here are all the listings. This is how I decided to list the items. I do run a sale anywhere from 30 to 38% off. So um, right now I'm at the deepest discount sale that I do currently. So my price is discounted pretty deep right now. These are definitely a Bolo item. Super excited that I found these. And let me know what you guys think in the comments about these Wendell August items. All right, we should be getting to about the end there. There we are. And I've already sold two. So that's fantastic. In less than 24 hours, two have already sold and I have all of these still left. Like I said, I'm gonna make hundreds of dollars on a $15 garage sale find.